The Crimson are Golden versus Princeton. Now a battle of the undefeated. Thanks, Jack. Uh, we had a bit of a slow start, probably the first adversity we faced this season uh, in the Princeton game last week. Uh, we came out, uh, had a couple of turnovers, very uncharacteristic. We were leading the nation with the fewest turnovers in the country, with only one going into the Princeton game, and uh, just struggled with it. And I, I think in the long run, that probably was good for us, to the point where it's 7-7 late in the second quarter against a, a tough rival, and uh, we got things in order. And, uh, with 35 unanswered points on the way to a 42-7 win. Uh, not all starts with defense, as I say every week. Again, played tremendous defense to the point we'll only allow a touchdown. And we have not allowed more than a touchdown in the game this year. And obviously, if you do that, you take care of the football, you can win a lot of football games. Offensively, we really had a great day. Uh, for offense, we had 200 plus yards rushing, 400 plus yards passing, and uh, you know, once we made a few adjustments. Once we did a little better job with ball security, we just really clicked. Our receivers are doing a great job, as are really every unit on the offensive side of the ball. But Andrew Fisher, a guy you're well familiar with, senior from Diamond Bar, California. You know, he's a great slot receiver, fast, mind and mind, great kick returner. Does a little of everything for us. And another great day with 10 catches, 190 yards, and a touchdown. And senior Ben Broniker, who's a uh, NFL prospect as an H-back from uh, Ferdinand, Indiana, I had another outstanding day, just a very difficult guy to single cover. Uh, we get a lot of man coverage, and uh, it's, he's made the most of that. Certainly one of Scotty's big targets, but he had seven catches for 130-ish yards and a touchdown as well. Uh, the catalyst uh, this week and uh, for many of our games has been Scott Bush. Scott is our senior quarterback from Sugar Hill, Georgia. You know, what can you say? He's 12 and 0 as a starter. He continues to get better every week. And last week he was 29 for 40 for four, 343 yards? 437. 437, okay. Third in, in uh, Harvard <laughs> history. Behind Neil Rose and Colt Chapel. And three touchdowns, two of which were in the air and one on the ground. You know, we knew Scotty was a good quarterback. Keeps sort of pushing the envelope in terms of what he can do and what we can do offensively. And as good as he is physically on the field, uh, just does a great job with everything, making accurate throws, great decisions. He's done a tremendous job of leadership. And he reminds me very much of Ryan Fitzpatrick in that he's very understated in terms of his, his manner, uh, but he's uh, he leads by example. He's very mentally tough, and uh, everybody really believes in him and really respects him. He has the honor of receiving this week's gold helmet for his performance in his press. Yes, I was, uh, I'd like to start off by thanking the New England Football Writers and the uh, Massachusetts uh, National Football Foundation. Very honored to receive this award. Um, and I know that I couldn't have got it done without my teammates. Um, between my offensive line, just dominating up front, Receivers making plays for me, defense shutting them down, getting us the ball back, and then the coaches, great game plan, great job making adjustments on the fly, and uh, we really had a great team effort. Um, I'd like to thank Riley, or congratulate Riley, uh, <coughs> great, great uh, job receiving the award, and uh, just good luck to everyone this week, and uh, thank you. a big game for us this week against unbeaten Dartmouth. Um, you know, this Dartmouth team is, uh, you know, without any type of highs, is probably the best Dartmouth team we've seen in our 22 years at, at, at Harvard. The number one in the league in run defense, number one in pass defense, number one in takeaways, number one in interceptions, number one in, in uh, kickoff coverage, number one in kickoff returns. Uh, just a tremendous football team. They've got 10 seniors on defense that are just a really dominant football team. And offensively, they're a great team as well. Nobody has even come close. They've crushed Yale. They crushed Penn. And uh, Coach Stevens and his staff have done a remarkable job with that program. It's a great football team. It should be a great game. It's a Friday night game for us under the lights. They're, they're going to come out of the woodwork uh, for the big green. And uh, we're expecting a great crowd. It's a national, tele national televised game on NBC Sports. So uh, we're really looking forward to it. 
something's got to give, obviously. And congratulations to Raleigh and Curry on his uh, and their full helmet performance. Congratulations to Coach Betty on a great win out of Williams. Good luck to everyone this week.